it's Captain Zorik here, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Battle of the Nations. <clears throat> my name is Zorik Lakidra, and I'm standing right out in front of my house in the neighborhood of Williamsburg in Brooklyn, New York. I am an entertainer, a video producer, a writer, an artist, an actor, but I earn my wage by working as a workforce manager at a call center. One, good, good. Three, two. Well, I first got into armored sword fighting 25 years ago when I started out in college. I always wanted to be like Conan, Robin Hood, King Arthur, that kind of thing. Um, and but that was with Rattan, where the only contact was with the weapons. The full contact that we're doing at the Battle of Nations is a brand new thing for me. It's uh, a little out of my comfort zone, but that's okay. Uh, I've been doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for about five years now. And so I'm a lot less scared of coming into contact with people and falling down. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what putting the sword fighting <coughs> with the full contact will be like. You've got this. Big time rush. Sizes from freezes. Hollywood's must have hairspray. Freezes here. Three. So when I'm, uh, when I'm in my armor, I feel very heroic. I feel invincible. I feel stronger than I normally do. Normally, I walk around at 185, 190 pounds, stretched over a six foot four frame. So when I put on 50, 60, 70 pounds of armor, that makes me heavier, and when it's distributed through my body, I need a certain amount of energy just to walk. And when I'm walking with that kind of energy, moving that kind of weight, it makes me feel like I have more power, more momentum. And when I put the, on, the armor on, when I get hit, it doesn't hurt so much, and so I feel invincible. I feel like I can take a lot of damage. It makes me feel like I can take more risks because I'm more protected. And Lord knows, I don't want people punching and kicking me in the face. But put a helmet on me, and you can hit me with a sword or a stick all day long. That's how I feel like when I'm in armor. I feel like a hero. What I love about fighting in armor there's so many things, so many levels. There's the adrenaline rush that I get out of it about how I feel like I'm exerting myself and trying to find the last resources of what's in me, both the energy required to fight in the armor, the energy required to deliver a good hard blow, and the mental uh, aspect of the game being able to figure out what's the right move to find the opening to set the other guy up and to realize that if I do it successfully then everything that I've worked for was worth it. You've like redeemed yourself. You've taken everything that you've got, cashed it in and found out what you're worth. And if you don't succeed, well then, you have learned something about yourself. And I love the opportunity to learn about myself and the challenge that it gives me that fighting in armor gives me. What do I not love about it? The hassle of having to carry the armor to and from everything. Uh, the time it takes to put on the armor, the time it takes to take off the armor, um, you know, the sore muscles, but it's kind of like, that's kind of like a bittersweet, you're sore because you did a lot of hard work, but it uh, doesn't mean it's comfortable. You just kind of have to love it for it. You have to love it for what you hate about it in order to do it. Does that make any sense at all? My dreams for the sport of full contact armored sword fighting are for it to grow large and be safe. I don't want this to turn into a blood sport where people are actually dying and where injuries are a part of the game that... Uh, 
and where injuries are and where I don't want to see this turn into a high-risk sport of mortality and life-threatening injuries. On the other hand, I do want to see this grow in popularity and acceptance. I'd like to see it on a level where we actually have the best of the best in every nation in the world competing to uh, trying out for their national teams, where it is broadcast on network TV, where it opens up worlds of stuff, where it gives people reason to study more about the past, about their heritage, about the history, where it helps for a greater understanding of what medieval culture was and how far we've come from it. Because while there is much to like about the idealized Middle Ages and the culture of chivalry, there is also much that society, culture, and technology have progressed from that point in terms of medicine, in terms of democracy, in terms of the concept of what it is to be a man and what it is to be human and the fact that we're all humans. Um, these are concepts that didn't exist. These are concepts that were very different in the Middle Ages that we are today. But the idea of putting yourself out there, putting your body and your life at risk against all comers and all obstacles because you feel that you're right, because you know that you're right, If we can learn from Battle of the Nations the passion to be able to defend what we believe is right and combine that with the knowledge, with the enlightened knowledge of today, then I think there might be hope for humanity. And what do I hope to accomplish in Poland? at the Battle of the Nations, I'm taking a big risk. This is far more risky, more daring, and will require a greater draw on my resources. Financial, emotional, mental, dedication, physical, than anything I've ever done before. And I hope to make the most of it. I hope to find out exactly what I'm worth to truly redeem myself while I'm out there. And maybe even I can inspire somebody to say, you know, if I feel that strongly about something as Captain Zorik did about this, then if he can go out and do that, I can go out and do this. That's what I hope to accomplish.